Hey folks, Stephen from the Market Direct Group. Today I'm going to show you the Jackson Rear Fold. It's our medium range rear fold hard floor camper. That many features to show you. We'll do a walk around, give you an idea what you're getting. So we'll start at the front. This is where you're going to hook it up to your vehicle. Poly block coupling, two ton rated, handbrake. Take it off the vehicle, pull the handbrake on, fold up jockey wheel. We've got our connections here, seven pin flat plug, controls the electric brakes as well. Anderson plug to wire it up to the vehicle to charge as we're going along. Two safety rated chains and shackles. Back to the stone guard, purpose built unit. Flaps on the front, stops the stone wash from the vehicle, protects the front of the trailer, but more importantly, keeps the stones going back down instead of hitting the back window of the vehicle, costing you a lot of money. So as we move back along the trailer now, behind our stone guard, we have our winch assembly. It will not only let us close the trailer up easier, but if you need it, it will let the trailer open as we let it fold the uh, floor back. Regulator for the gas, Australian compliance unit, hooked straight up to the two four and a half kilo bottles that can be mounted on the front here, twin 20 litre jerry cans, large toolbox at the front here. We've got a vent here for when you're running the fridge on the inside, keeps everything cool. So as we come back to our large toolbox here, Two centre pop latches, completely secures the toolbox on the front here. Automotive seals right around, keeps all that dust and water out. We have a three drawer system here, great for the pantry, it's right beside the kitchen I'll show you in a moment. They all lock back into position, right beside it we've got this huge fridge slide, take up to most 80 litre fridges. At the moment I've got sitting on here your toilet hot water system and solar panel that come with all these units. Also comes with the straps to hold the fridge down. Easy to slide out and push back in. Later on when we're set up, it'll be under the annex exactly where you need it to cook a meal, get a cold drink out. So moving along the side of the trailer now, we'll come to the kitchen. Kitchen slides out the side, but before I slide it out, we have a 12 volt accessory plug here. Mount something up on the kitchen, let it run, right in the spot where you need it. Under here we have the gas bayonet fitting and the water fitting. So when the kitchen comes out we can plug directly back into there. All the facilities are there straight away. Again, large centre latch, automotive seal all the way around. We slide our kitchen out. Two, secure, two ways of securing it. We've got the big barrel bolt. Very handy in rough off-road conditions. You're not going to break anything. Just slides out by itself. Move on to the three burner cooktop. Easily able to cook up a meal for a number of people. Plenty of bench space. Tap turns itself on as we pull it up. Drains go underneath. Gas line and water go underneath and plug back into the features I just showed you before. Really simple setup. Pull it out on the side of the road. Have a cup of tea, coffee, whatever you want. So as I move across the drawers in the kitchen, storage areas everywhere. We've got a cutlery drawer built into the unit, really easy running slides. Centre here we've got another drawer, whatever you want to put in there. Cooking utensils is normally what I'd carry in there. Plenty of size there. This one gives us access to under the sink. As I said, we can pull this out, hook it up to our water, hook our gas line up out of here as well. Everything's in a convenient spot. Another great feature of these trailers, we have the stainless steel, extra trim around the guard. Gets the stone wash from the front, you're not going to get stone chips. Yes, it may get marked, but it's still going to last a lot longer than most. Set of 16 inch alloy wheels, six stud Land Cruiser patrol pattern, will fit most vehicles. It's on a two ton independent suspension with 12 inch electric brakes and a parallel bearing set. Nothing's going to break there. Water filler, lockable, handy when you're out bush. You never know who's going to do what out there, so you can always lock it. All the fittings on the side of the trailer, hinges, all stainless steel. Stainless steel gas struts with rubber bellows. Protects the shaft where it goes through the seals. Not going to let them fail in a hurry. Four stabiliser legs right around the whole trailer. Aluminium top, never going to perish. So we come around to the back of the trailer now. Rear mounted spare wheel. Age with the weight distribution of the trailer, taking weight off the drawbar. Very important feature. LED tail lights, completely sealed for dust and water. Nothing to vibrate going off-road. Rear access to the drawers that we'll show you later. Two ton recovery point, rated. If you've got to pull somebody out or you've got to be pulled out, you can't be off-road without them. 
Again, stainless steel fittings everywhere. Handy rack on the top here. Carry a bit of luggage, even a kayak if you wanted to. Has to be taken off before we can fold it out, but still a great point for carrying things. As you can see, very substantial amount for mounting the spare wheel. It'll spin out of the way for us later. Never gonna break it. Come down this side now. We've got our electrical system enclosure. Inside here we have our master switch, controls all the power to the vehicle. I can turn that on, gives me a volt reading, the amps being used at the time, master relay reset, individual switches for the water pump, the individual lights and auxiliaries, resettable fuses. Everything's neat and tidy in there. Again, we've still got our full seals right around to protect the whole system. So we've just about completed our journey around this fantastic off-road trailer. We come to the other side of the toolbox. Opens up to three very spacious drawers, all on gas struts. We open up the bottom drawer here. All the standard gear we supply for all our trailers. We've got a spare bearing set for both sides, not just one. Six straps to hold the fridge in place. We have a, a wheel wrench to check your alloy wheel nuts all the time when you're travelling. Compulsory fire extinguisher, your three LED lights. Handle for winding down the stabiliser legs. And of course, but not last, the rest of the coupling that can supplied with the trailer. Everything you're going to need to get this unit out on the road. So we're inside this fantastic trailer and what we've got in here just astounds me sometimes. We have the full queen size mattress, easily be able to flip up to get to this massive storage area under here. All we've got under here is the 100 amp hour AGM battery. This one's fitted with the 240 volt inlet system and the 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Battery charges there, just plug straight into the 240, come straight in on the side. Plenty of storage for our canvas walls or whatever else you want to carry under it. Access to under the bed from the back when the trailer is set up with the rear entrance. So here we are, the Jackson rear fold. Features galore. Unit fully set up here. Your ideal home away from home. Take it Bush guys, welcome to the Market Direct Group.